knows everything. And here's imagination. <laughs> That's me. Do astronauts like their job? Do you have to go to university to be an astronaut? Flights! Look up! Weather! Look up! Astronomy! Look up! Space! Look up! 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 Astronauts. I have the very most exciting news. All your questions about astronauts are going to be answered by an astronaut. Imagination, I have never traveled in space. I wasn't talking about you, robot. Although I'm sure you could answer all the questions. She's so clever. Yes, I do have an enormous memory bank. And my files are quite extensive. Though I do seem to be having trouble with my reception. 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 But nothing beats first-hand information. So I visited Mr. Mark Garneau in Ottawa. I interviewed him right in his office. Did you ask him if he needed a robotic assistant? Why, no, I didn't. Robot, do you want to be an astronaut? It was just an idea. Well, I guess we all think about it sometime. Mr. Garneau says it was great fun. Here comes my interview. Gosh, Imagination, you sure bounce around a lot. You're moving around all the time. <laughs> well, I'm just so excited to meet you, Mr. Garneau. But I'll try and settle down. Now, first of all, I want to know what was the very, very best part about going into space. For me, it was the floating. It was that feeling of total freedom, of being suspended in the air and nothing touching me, my feet not touching anything, and just being able to close my eyes and to drift throughout the cabin inside there. That was a great feeling. I think we've all dreamt at one time or other of, of flying like birds or being able to soar, and suddenly I had the chance to do it. Oh, wow. You know, I've heard that sometimes weightlessness makes astronauts sick. Did you have any problem with it? I was very lucky. I wasn't space sick when I was up there, although I worried about it before the flight because I get motion sick down here on Earth. But up there, I was very lucky. Uh, it does take a while to get used to weightlessness because suddenly everything has changed. You can go around upside down. Instead of having your feet on the ground, you can go around with your head towards the ground. You can come down ladders backwards. And what you find is that most people, the first time they go up into space, they tend to kick around quite a bit more and their arms are going and flailing all over the place because they're not quite used to floating. 